Right now on Thornton 360, a look at Thornton's new adaptive and inclusive program and a way to keep track of your Thornton trash and recycling schedule. Thornton 360 starts right now. Hello and welcome to Thornton 360, I'm Todd Barnes. We begin with the latest from City Council. A public hearing regarding an amendment to the service plan for the York Street Metropolitan District was continued to the January 28th meeting. This will allow more time for city staff to work with the district to answer questions that have been raised. Council approved a resolution consenting to and supporting initial resettlement of refugees in the city. This will continue to allow resettlement agencies to initially place newly arrived refugees within Thornton. Also approved were the city's 2020 state legislative priorities. Again, these five legislative priorities provide general guidance to staff in reviewing and analyzing bills that come out of the General Assembly. They are not all inclusive. Staff will continue to review bills that are of interest to council members and bills that will have a large impact to the city of Thornton. And council recognized the late Ruben Valdez for the contributions he made to Thornton over the 20 plus years he represented the city's interests at the Colorado legislature. Mr. Valdez was well known at the State House and had a very distinguished career as a legislator. We will miss Ruben and his calmness and how great he was at working with all of us on the city, no matter what our political party was or our version of what we wanted to happen. He had a way of bringing us all together and fighting for the city together. So thank you all so much. To see the entire city council meeting, tune to Xfinity Channel 8 or watch in high definition on Channel 881. Thornton Recreation recently kicked off a new program called AIR, Adaptive and Inclusive Recreation. The kickoff party was an awesome chance for people with and without disabilities from the community to come together in a fun setting. And it was really motivating because we saw a lot of enthusiasm and interest in the community and it helped reinforce that this this program is a need that we have and people are eager to get involved. So when we say AIR we're saying adaptive and inclusive recreation. So adaptive means that we're adapting programs to meet the needs of people with disabilities and inclusive means people with and without disabilities participating together. The city created this program because we wanted to be more intentionally reaching out to people with disabilities and welcoming them into our facilities and programs. So the first couple AIR programs, one is a sampler program for teens and adults to get used to using the facility, kind of have an introduction to some of the programs that we offer. And then we're also doing air gymnastics. So there's a youth and an adult session to help them get introduction to gymnastics and have a chance to participate. Now's the perfect time to get involved because you can be one of these charter folks who are involved in this program and who help direct it into the future. We'd love people to get involved by providing input if you have a disability on ways that we can be more inclusive in our programs, ways that we can offer air specific programming, and also people that want to get involved by volunteering, helping out working with people with disabilities of all ages, and promoting that inclusive component in our city of people recreating and having fun and accepting one another just the way we are. To get involved with the AIR program, email Becky Post at the email address on your screen or sign up online through Volunteer Thornton. If you got a doorbell camera for the holidays, you can now do more than just keep watch on your front porch. You can also help the Thornton Police Department. Hello, it's Officer Jesus Mendez of the Thornton Police Department. We'd like to invite you to Thornton's new Home and Business Security Cam Registry. This is a community and police partnership where if something happens in your neighborhood, your video footage can help us maybe catch the suspect, identify a witness, or even return your property. So visit gocot.net slash camera registry to register your home and business security cams today. Together, we can partner and make a reduction in crime. Thornton residents can now apply to be part of the Thornton Citizens Fire Academy. This free program gives you an inside look at what it takes to be a Thornton firefighter. Have you ever wondered where firefighters sleep? Or why do they have to keep their gear in a special room? 
or what this tool is used for. If you have more questions like this, sign up for our Thornton Fire Citizens Fire Academy. We're accepting applications now through February 7th, and you can find those applications on our website at thorntonco.gov fire. For the new year, make a pledge to move to the right when you see sirens and lights. My husband's a Thornton firefighter. My dad is a Thornton firefighter. My son is a Thornton firefighter. My cousin is a Thornton firefighter. My daddy is a Thornton firefighter. My brother's a Thornton firefighter. We are Thornton firefighters. This is part of our Thornton Fire family. Please help keep our family safe while we are keeping yours safe by moving to the right for sirens and lights. Thornton trash and recycling customers can look up their collection schedule two easy ways. Go to thorntonco.gov slash trash recycling and enter your address or you can download a new mobile app. Look for City of Thornton Recycles in the App Store and on Google Play. Once you download the app and enter your address, you'll see the pickup schedule, services, and special events specific to your address. That's it for this edition of Thornton 360. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.